Giving for a long time for us was just robotic. I didn't feel like it always carried any real meaning for me. So I'm a writer and I was working on a book for I Like Giving and talking to all these people and hearing their stories of generosity. And what I heard really shocked me. And as a writer, sometimes it's easy to tell other people's stories, but forget about your own story. It just made me think, you know, what kind of story do I want to tell? And what kind of person do I want to be? So I started to talk to my husband about an experiment with giving. We both work on commission. So one month we were looking at our budget and we decided we would set a little bit aside and see what might happen. Shortly after that, my mom came on a visit to Nashville, which she doesn't get to do very often. You know, I was so excited. I got the guest room all ready, and we got a phone call from my sister that she had had a miscarriage. We were just shocked. So I told my mom, I really think that you need to go and be there for her. So we started looking up some flights. They popped up and each one was the exact amount that we had put aside. And so we packed her bag and we bought the ticket and we sent her to New York to be with my sister. So all of a sudden it felt like giving just had this new life to it that we'd never expected. I have a friend with multiple sclerosis and her doctor had told her to change her diet dramatically, but she didn't have a food processor. And we bought her one. She's able to see better and her symptoms are really starting to go away. And then I was having coffee with a friend and she was really struggling because she'd lost her job. I looked at her and I said, have you thought about going to see a counselor? And she looked at me and said, I would love to, but I just know that I can't afford it. And so Patrick and I talked about it and we decided we would give her the money to be able to go see a counselor. The experiment made life really exciting. Hi! Doing this month after month has really changed the way we look at our friends and the way that we look at life. We can listen to people more and we're more aware of what's going on around us and we enjoy listening for opportunities that we didn't expect. Giving had a whole lot more energy behind it than we'd ever given it credit for. It's pretty contagious and I felt that way when I was hearing other people's stories. I feel pretty privileged to be able to spread that. Tonight, maybe you're a guest, you probably wonder what you're in for. Let me give you the elevator speech for the Barnabas Group. The Barnabas Group provides a platform that allows the Holy Spirit to draw members and attendees closer to the Lord, so that they are blessed as they bless the kingdom. And we do this by connecting leaders and changing lives. I think you're going to see a lot of that happen tonight. If you had grabbed the handout that you found on your chair, I want to kind of walk you through some of the things uh, in there that are important. If you take a look at page three, there's instructions in there that uh, will tell you about how to post a picture on Facebook. And we'd ask that maybe tonight you'd take a picture with somebody next to you that uh, you would post that on Facebook, or maybe it's one of the ministries that you met here tonight, and post that on Facebook. The instructions are easy. I understand a 12-year-old can do it, so there's a lot of young people around here that can help you if you need help. <laughs> At our last meeting in February, we announced that we were going to start an associate member program. This was a program for people between the ages of about 22 and in their mid-30s that uh, were kind of in that stage of life where they couldn't maybe afford to be part of the Barmas Group because they were, you know, in their first job, they were, uh, you know, with kids and all the, the, the things that go on in that early part of your life. 
but they want to be a part of the, the Barnabas group, and they have talents that many of us don't have and tr things that they can offer ministry. So we decided we would go out and find uh, some of those folks. So we now have over a dozen associate members of the Barnabas group. So if you're an associate member of the Barnabas group, you're here tonight, would you stand up for just a second? Okay. I told them I would not make them sing their high school fight song either. Yeah, give them a round of applause, you guys. For their, their price of entry is that they are going to come to the four meetings. They will look at the different ministries. When, they, when God tugs their heart and they are drawn to come alongside and help one with the talents that they've got, that's what they're going to do, and then they'll let us know exactly what happened. If you take a look at page 27 in your handout, page 27, that's Mississippi Robotics, and that's their feedback form. And their feedback form is going to be similar in some respects to many of the feedback forms. And that's a real connection of how you're going to connect with the ministries here tonight. At the very top, there's 0 to 10, 10 being the highest, 0 being the lowest. So if you see a ministry that you want to have call you right away, you circle 10. If you just want to be on their mailing list or you don't need a phone call, but you want to tell them something, then you circle 0. So somewhere in between there, you tell them your temperature so they know how quickly to get in touch with you. Now, would you print legibly? They already told me that last night in San Diego, we must have had a room full of doctors because they couldn't read anything. <laughs> so print legibly your name, your phone number, and your email address. And then when you leave tonight, you go out these doors, there's going to be some boxes out there for each ministry. Drop that feedback form for those respective ministries in that form. We'll have a minute to fill these out. You can fill these out when they're talking. On each of those forms, there's something... They give suggestions on ways you can get involved, but you can also write in your own ideas. Now, you may know somebody that needs to hear about, as an example, Mississippi Robotics tonight. Well, you want to sit down and tell Ray who we should call, give a name and phone number, somebody that's very interested in robotics. Okay? So that's a great thing. Or maybe they say something that really touches your heart. Let them know that because that's an inspiration to them. That helps them out. And just remember, it's okay not to fill out a feedback form for everybody, but listen to who they are and give them some encouragement. That's a huge blessing to them. If they call you, call them back. On page 9, there's some information on our SWAT teams. Ron Henry runs our SWAT teams, and I can tell you that those have been incredible this year. They're, we're going to hopefully have several more of them during the year. And if you get the email to sign up for one of those, I would encourage you to do that. You'll be blessed. You'll meet other Barnabas Group members. You will meet uh, ministries that are wonderful, and you'll spend some good quality time. And I know that most of us say, well, gee, I don't have anything to offer that ministry. My skill set doesn't correspond to that. I can promise you, if you go to a SWAT team meeting, God will use you. You will be surprised. Okay, people over and over talk about how uh, impacted they are by the SWAT team meetings. On page 11, we have the Impact Summary Summit that is coming up on June 3rd. And the Impact Summit is going to be a safe, non-threatening event for Christian business leaders who are beginning to explore the integration of faith and work. The Barnabas Group will be there convening the master's program. There will be a lot of ministries that you know. There are workplace ministries, a lot of good speakers. It's $50, includes dinner, hard to beat. Last housekeeping item before I get to introduce our first speaker is the restrooms. If you need the restroom, you go out the front door, turn right, two lefts, and you're there, all right?